Let's get some price picks in today, guys. The picks from last video went four and two for this one entry I gave here. And then in the slip where I said we're going to go correlation, this one went three and three. You could see this QB hit with this red receiver. This could be hit with this red receiver, obviously in the wrong direction. But the idea is you put them together. And this one was just one yard off hitting together. So we're going to do another correlation slip in today's video, as well as in NHL slips. So we'll get straight into it. So the first slip is going to be a correlation slip in the MLB. And we're going to go with pitching outs here on Zach Gallen, grabbing him under. And we're going to take the Philly players on over runs, bases, all that. So I'll show you right now. We're going to go into runs. You see Bryce Harper and Trey Turner both here. So we're going to grab them both over runs. Now, the idea is if Zach Gallen's going under pitching out, it's because Harper, Turner, just Philly in general are getting runs, which means that he's going to get taken off, especially if the runs are done in the first few innings. So if these guys are both going over, it's a good sign. We could also throw in a hit runs RBI, but the problem is here, you could see they're going to shift the payout because they know it's correlated. So you don't want that. We could grab Romoto, but a better pick I like here, actually, that won't shift the payouts is Bohm on the over one and a half basis. You could see four correct still pays 10x. So we're going to go with that for the entry and I'll show you in the lineup. So Bryce Harper, Trey Turner are in order here. So even if like Trey Turner's on base, Bryce Harper runs him in, maybe with a home run, both these guys are going to get their runs or similar with Alec Bohm. Let's say these guys are both on base. If Alec Bohm might get, you know, two bases, he might run in Harper. So the idea is these are all correlated, especially because they're all in order of the batting lineup. So this is going to be the first entry, purely correlated, nothing to do with odds juice. I'm not going to show you any value on that. It's just common sense in the sense that these guys are going to all hit together if they hit, most likely, right? So we're going to grab this. We're going to put 50 for 500 on this one. So the next picks here are going to be in the NHL, and they are going to be based on the Audrey Salgo. I'll show you the value on them right after I put them in. The first one's going to be Thomas Hurdle on the under half an assist. And we're also going to grab another assist pop on Sergachev. We're going to grab him on the under half of an assist also. So these are the two assist props. And actually, there's a third one now that I look at my list. Chris Latang, we're going to grab under half an assist. So three under half assists right there. And we're also going to grab Alec Tuck on the over two and a half shots on goal. So these are the four. I'll show you the value right here. You could see Hurdle, Sergachev, and Chris Latang. Pretty good value. I mean, Hurdle and Sergachev are way better than Latang. You could see minus 129 on 56% and up for all these that I put in. So Tuck over here, you could see 56.71%. And the last guy I have not put in yet is Shea Theodore. We're going to grab him. On the over half a point i really like this nhl slip you can see very good value on all of these except latang really so we're going to lock this one in as the second one so right now we have one nhl slip one correlation slip and we're going to lock both these in 